Imagine you are building a calculator app allowing users to enter some basic math expressions. Right now, you only want to implement plus, minus and parentheses, but you will definitely want to add other operations in the future. Your expression language may be more challenging at some point, so you want your application to be well designed. Here, the interpreter design pattern is a good choice for you. The interpreter is a behavioral design pattern that provides a way to evaluate sentences or expressions in a language. It defines a language and its grammar in terms of a set of classes, where each class represents a rule or production of the language. This is useful when creating an interpreter for a simple language or expression, such as regular expressions, mathematical expressions or domain-specific languages. Let's start with the math expression interface with a single calculate method. Then we will create four different classes inherited from math expression, plus expression, minus expression, brackets expression and number. The first two classes will contain two math expressions because each of those classes is a binary operation. That is, we need two operands to perform our action correctly. Their calculate function calls the evaluation on both math expressions and then returns their addition or subtraction. The bracket expression class contains one math expression and is used to group multiple math expressions into one. Its evaluation method returns the result of the calculate method of its single math expression. The last class, number, contains a number and its calculate method returns exactly that number. You can easily interpret any expression containing plus, minus and brackets using these four classes. Now, to add new operations, you can add new classes representing this operation and the overall structure will not change from this. There are three actors in this design pattern. The first, abstract expression or math expression in our case, is an interface that declares an interpret, a method used by concrete expressions to interpret the input. In our example, interpret is calculate. Terminal expression is a subclass of abstract expression that implement the interpret method for terminal characters in the grammar. In our case, it's just a number. Terminal means that this class does not contain any other abstract expression. The last one, non-terminal expression, is also a subclass of abstract expression that implements the interpret method for non-terminal characters in the grammar. It usually combines and interprets multiple terminal and non-terminal expressions. In our example, non-terminal expressions are plus expression, minus expression and brackets expression. One of the main benefits of this design pattern is its modularity. It breaks down complex grammars into modular expressions, resulting in a more organized and maintainable codebase. This modularity also contributes to the system's extensibility, making it easier to change existing grammar or add new language constructs by adding or modifying expression classes. However, despite these benefits, the interpreter has one significant limitation. Its applicability is restricted, as it is most suitable for scenarios where there is a need to create an interpreter for languages, expressions or grammars. There also can be more efficient choices than this pattern for more complex scenarios. That's all about the interpreter design pattern. See you in the next video.